Cargo system and equipment. Cargo piping system. As per international gas code, cargo pipelines are not allowed beneath deck level on gas carriers. Therefore, all connections to tank must be taken through the tank domes, which penetrate the main deck. All other cargo pipelines must be laid above deck level. Gas carriers are normally fitted with liquid and vapor manifolds at midship. Cargo piping system consists of liquid line, vapor line, relic liquid line, also called condensate line, liquid and vapor crossover, liquid crossover header, vapor header, relic liquid line header, also called condensate header, relief line, High pressure line, booster discharge line, drain line, inert gas line, cargo tank, gas carrier's cargo tanks are constructed by taking into consideration as to how the cargo will be carried, whether under pressurized or refrigerated conditions or under a combination of pressure and refrigeration. NYK ship management's vessels are designed to carry LPG cargo at atmospheric pressure under refrigerated conditions. Each vessel is fitted with four fully refrigerated Type A prismatic self-supporting cargo tanks. The minimum service temperature for each tank is minus 46 degrees centigrade. The maximum allowable specific gravity of cargo is 0.61 grams per cubic centimeter. Each cargo tank is fitted with two safety relief valves with a maximum relief valve setting of minus 2 to 28 kilo pascal gauge. All the pipes and the equipment to cargo tanks penetrate through the trunk top. Reliquifaction plant. Fully refrigerated vessels are fitted with reliquifaction plant to perform the following essential functions. Reliquifying cargo vapor generated by flash evaporation, vapor displacement and boil off during loading. Maintaining cargo tank pressure within the safe limit while at sea by reliquifying the boil-off vapor. Cooling down the cargo tanks and associated pipelines before loading or unloading. NYK ship management's LPG carriers are fitted with five horizontal oil-free and water-cooled type cargo compressors. Methanol pump. Vessels are provided with one methanol tank and or one portable methanol pump. Methanol is used as an anti-freezer on LPG vessels to remove hydrate formation in cargo pump lubrication system or in cargo tank spray line nozzles. To avoid contamination of cargo, Methanol is to be used only when hydrate formation has been confirmed and company, owner and charterers are informed. Cargo heater and booster pump. Some vessels are provided with one or two booster pumps and one cargo heater to unload cargo in warm conditions. 